Okay. Okay. Hello, everyone on YouTube. This is Twitch time. This is Twitch time with Retro Reset here on Sweet Victory 117 on YouTube. How you doing? I'm not going to go over the intricacies of what Retro Reset is because I think I've done that in enough episodes. Uh, and Retro Reset is a podcast. That's all you need to know. It's great. Just listen to it. You don't need to know about it. Just trust me when I say you'll enjoy it. So without further ado, uh, we're going to talk about what we're going to be playing today. Possibly my favorite game of 2020. And that is A Fantasy Blacksmith. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> let me tell you about this game. It is freaking amazing. Um, I found it randomly, like, through looking through random games on, um, on, on the Steam. Showed up on ye old suggesteds, and I played it, and it's been a blast ever since. But they released some, I bought, they released some DLC, and we're gonna start, we're, we're gonna continue off from Sword Bob, and I'll kinda show you, uh, what the deal is. It's normal. I don't know what that means. Do we have to make a new game to, uh, to, uh, nah, nah. We're not going to make a new game. Uh, to, to use the DLC? I assume not. But anyways, hello everybody, welcome to my sword store. As you can see, I have a few swords to choose from, including the silver blood element sword, the silver fire element sword, the Elador Death Element Sword. I mean, this is freaking sweet ass names. Here's a ghost sword. Is this a ghost sword? Blood Element Sword. Uh, fire, gold, and silver element sword. So, like, they seem to have changed this up a bit. There's like an enchanting system. I think the best way to introduce everybody to it is to show you how it is done. How it was did I done? First of all, I think there's another book. Hey! New book? It's the item book. Pickaxe. Oh, okay, so this tells you all the items in the game. Pagan. Uh, yeah, there's different artifacts. Uh, these are used for, like, enhancing. Um, I'm not entirely certain how or what individual things do, which would be handy to know, game developer, if, you, if you're watching this. I love your... Uh, I love your game. I wonder if they ever fixed it, because it's a little broken. Um, find goods. There's all kinds of stores and stuff. Oh, that's neat. It's like a little buyer's guide, and there should be like a little map. Okay. Oh, ores, cauldron, neato. Where do I go to buy things? How do I? It's been a while. It's been a while, y'all. Here we go to map. Here we go. So there's all the different areas you could buy stuff from. I uh, think it starts out village. You go to town, the magic woods, abandoned cemetery, Miss Pearl Mine, Dragon Cliffs, the royal castle. You can buy stuff from forge, which is your forge items. Uh, you can uh, hit back, um, uh, close instead of back. Interiors for like decorating your house, if you want to. You know, uh, who doesn't like doing that? And then magic, of course, is your magical reagents including the Royal Castle Style Crystal, and they each require different, um, different wait times and stuff to re return. This is where the stuff comes in. It comes in right here. This is where you forge your weapon. This is, a, this I believe, is a, to make um, a, a coke. So to supercharge your coal, you need that in order to make, like, uh, higher tungsten and stuff like that requires higher temperatures. Quenching barrel. This is uh, the temper thing. Here's here's a bunch of coal I bought. This is for making Damascus, and this is for assembling the guard and, and the handle and the pommel. And this is for uh, sharpening. And this is for enhancing. This is for smelting. The ores into bars. And here's all my ores and bars. So there you go. Yeah. And down here's the mine. Oh, there's a visitor. Playing this game the first few times, whenever I heard that knock, I was like, who the hell is, who's hell is knocking at my door? Hello, sir. I want to buy a decent sword below 3,500 coins. 
do you with a magic effect do you have it do you have one uh you can take one custom order and you have 20 minutes to complete the order so he wants a one under 3500 under 3500 coins um, with a magic effect, so I gotta remember which one's a magic effect. Okay, be back in twenty minutes. So I, I is this a cauldron the magic effect, or is this the magic effect? This magic crystal, right? This is the cauldron. This is really obligatory. So there's this is the artifacts you can sell, by the way, and this is just a shelf to put stuff. You get the there's like obligatory wait times on an, an individual things. It's really strange. What I should have done was made some ingots in my downtime. Did I? Is this tungsten? What is, there's a way to check. How do you, how do you check? Is it tab? The, uh, no. No. Level up. Press Y. I think I'm already high enough. I think I'm already max level, aren't I? Oh, there's luck now. That's cool. There's my pickaxe. There's my uh, tongs. Pickaxes are and um, forgot how you have what's what, what how, there's a way to identify ingots. Is it spacebar? Is it shift? I'm not sure what this even is. It's, 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 it's not caps. It's, it's a control. And that's crouch. We might have to look at controls. Hold on. Uh, tongs show the amount. Tab show the amount of money. Reputation shows the character level. Sword strike. Item description is T. Okay. So it's T. That's not T. That's T. 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 Okay. Put away the put away the pickaxe. Oh boy. <clears throat> T. Nope. That's the wrong button again. Okay. This is Titan. This is a type of metal. I think it'll work. I think it'll work. So let's start off with Titan. We're gonna make a sword. Um, yo. So first things first, uh, whenever this was casted, maybe we should start with ore in order to show you exactly what is going on. Is this Titan ore? Yeah, okay, so let's make Titan sword. So we gotta throw in not one, not two, but three Titans. And then we take a little piece of coal and then we, 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 we squat down or right, chunk that in there. There we go. We gotta wait a minute for it to get done. I think it says somewhere right here, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, so that's what's in there right now. It takes about two minutes to melt. If we're quick about it, we can start hammering it on it before we have to uh, throw it in the smelter. Which reminds me of the forge. We might want to get that forge going, huh? Yeah. We're gonna take the tongs out. Is that how it works? There we go. And then we just like we just drop it back in because we're great. There is a and I think he fixed this in a patch where you could grab it, throw it back in, and then grab it again. And it's really annoying. <laughs> okay, so we got it in there. There we go. Shut this. It's hot. So we hit the bellows. I think I got it in there. So we can check the temperature, which I believe is... Um, it's uh, one, two, no, two, no, no, three. There we go. I think there's still a bug where you have to pointing it pointing it I mean maybe there has to be an ingot in there I'm not quite sure but anyway so has it been two minutes yet once you click on it, it should not melted yet it's, it's hard work guys all right don't be fooled don't be fooling we got a lot of stuff to do this is busy this is busy work do not be fooled by by the by the um, elementary appearance of this. Hurry up and melt. Hurry up. Hurry up and melt. I can't jump either. It's one weird thing about this game. We'll go. In, oh, that is sorry. Excuse me. I had Taco Bell for dinner. Ugh, fart jokes is the best. Also, when you're done with the with the fire, you could just quench it with that, and then you can save some of your coal. Oh, you can't you date? I'm busy. Actually, you know what? I should have done. I'll, I'll talk to him real quick. Like, yeah, do you have a cheap sword below? No, fine. You want to play dice? No. Get out of here. Just hit this button. Comment saying, let's do an ex. Mister. <coughs> Whoa. <coughs> Comic Sans, do not disturb. 
create a metal bar. Okay, so here we go. This is a boy. We gotta design it. And you can buy these designs from the different stores. You can make a skinny blade, a fat blade, and a medium blade. And you can make transitionary parts. And they have to kind of make sense in order for it to be a good blade. So we're going to do something a little silly. So we're going to go from small to like medium here. And then we're going to, no, we're not going to want to do that. Because that just looks silly, right? And that won't work. Let's see. We need something in the medium, right? It's like this. Yeah, there we go. And then we'll put two of those, and then we need to go over here. When we hit this one, it should be, yeah, bring up the tips. Just the tips. And then we gotta find, uh, here we go. That looks good, right? Eh? Maybe? Eh? No? Yeah? Yeah, that looks good. So we'll confirm this. Get the toms ready, guys. Right out the gate. Work to finish. Oh, we got it. Let's go ahead and chuck this on here. And once we're done. It is time to forge. Oh, yeah. Now, you won't be able to forge this fast because you're not a master blacksmith like I am. But um, once you get master level forging, you'll be able to hammer out a blade this friggin' fast, bro. I had it down to a science when I was playing this last. It was amazing. Um, now, I've, it's been a while since I've hammered on the old anvil. On the Amityville anvil. But the idea is to hammer it enough, but not too much. It kind of tells you up there your quality of foraging. You got to get it nice and even so that you you don't accidentally screw it up, which I've done several times. It's like, oh, it's close. It's close. You want to move on to the next section. It starts to elongate like this. There we go. There we go. Like that. It's kind of hard also to pick out the sections. There we go. It looks good. All right. You can kind of see on these fatter blades. See, I just screwed up that piece, which doesn't make any sense. But on the skinnier blades, it's really hard to see what needs to be. Okay, so it's too cold to forge now. So what we're going to have to do is pick this bad boy up and stick it back in the fire. Yeah. Now, at this point, we should be able to tell what the temperature is. This decides to function. Oh, we had it for a second. Come on, where is it? There's a sweet spot in here somewhere. There we go. Okay, so it's 1200 degrees, which should be hot enough to heat this up. As you can see, it's getting hotter. I think he fixed the bug where you could accidentally bump into the blade with the tongs and pull it out. Oh, I didn't buy a handle of pommel. That's okay. We're not in a rush to do that yet. You, you, it says to pull it out not too soon, but not too late. This should be fine. And then we'll start working on it again. It's This is a great game to play in general, but it's just, it's also good for like a rainy day. Rainy day game. This is where it gets tricky because you don't know where to hit. There you go. So this is pretty much all done. There's a few bad spots. And then tempering it is also temperamental. Ha! So you gotta stick it in there and wait till the hissing stops and just like immediately pull it out. Don't wait any longer than that. Otherwise it won't temper. And now. Damn it. Too soon. So it's not tempered. It's not a great sign. Uh, I don't think this quality of this blade is high enough. I mean, it'll be below $3,500, but we also have to add a magic effect. So I think this pommel will work. Um, doesn't say what kind of pommel it is, but it looks like it's a decent quality pommel. So we actually need to... How much time do we have left? 11 minutes? I think we're fine. So I actually need to order a guard and a handle. So let's go to Dragon Cliffs. And we're going to order some, let's see, we'll do a handle here. Let's do this handle, and we can pick a different, it's different colors. So let's do an onyx handle, and we need a guard. Doesn't this, this bitch sell guards? Yeah, there we are. I love, really love looking right at him. <laughs> All right, and we're going to get like an Elendor guard. There we go. The cart, buy at $27,000. Shouldn't be an issue. And this is like the things, the magic table. I think that's what he wants. He wants a magic effect, which would be like fire, ice, stuff like that. Death, blood, you know, the usual. 
I have fire and I think I have blood and death. Is this a death crystal? I think so. These are very expensive. Very premium, yeah. Very premium crystal. You find those in the mines. You can't buy those bad boys. I ain't giving it to him. Screw him. Anyways, we gotta wait for the stuff to return. Just two minutes. Now, I'm there's dude, the cauldron effects take a lot longer, and we'll, we'll do that one on the next one because you'll see over here, and these are very precise. These are the different enchants. There's water, lava, magic hydra, saint, you know, stuff like that. Saint, I think, is one of my favorites. Um, but you have to buy these reagents, get them in, and you have to wait in these, these really obligatory wait times before you can add the next reagent or it won't work. But it's so much fun. Some of this stuff I haven't got yet. Look at these swords! And holy crap! I mean, wow! And when you see some magic effect, there's also the magic altar downstairs, which you can use mixing a clover with a random artifact which could also create a magic effect so it's like I think what they wouldn't hurt to do would be to to add um, kind of like a little bit more information <laughs> rather than you know oh I forgot to extinguish my fire that's a mistake so there's a magic table cauldron and altar like which one's the magic thing eh? Eh? So Extinguish our flames. We need to save those. There we go. See? We still have eight minutes. I think we're going to go with fire. Pretty sure. It's pretty easy. But I'll show you. It's, it's really neat. I spent... I don't remember how many how many hours I've sunk into this game, but quite a few it's, is the answer. And they just added a DLC that allows you to leave, so <laughs> I'm pretty excited about that. I don't know if you have to start a new game for it or not. You might have to. You know what? Do I have to? I mean, how, there's, how do you... Mining book. Okay. Okay, so everything I pick up, it now keeps track of. Well, that's nice. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool beans. But anyways, we have it. Where was the blade? The blade's sitting in here just chilling. We could probably go ahead and sharpen it real quick while we wait. We could do that first. It's really not an issue. Um, grinding. Let's see if I can remember. Hold C to spin the wheel, and then it's, a, it's like he's changed it a little bit. Basically, you hold the button down and then let go as close as you can get to 100%. I am pretty good at it. Totally. Whoops! I accidentally right clicked. Oh, well, see, there you go. Boom. Shiny blade, bro. Just drop it on the floor. Okay. Let me take this big ass guard, stick it on here. And then we take the candle, do the same. And then we stick this on there. And it is assembly time. So you just have to wait until it's in the good section and hit it. Again, once you upgrade your. Uh, <clears throat> abilities this gets really easy like silly 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 easy and this all affects the value and the quality of the weapon fortunately I screwed up the temper which I don't know how I did because I, I think I did it right whatever this game's finicky sometimes here's the pommel you got to be really careful with the pommel as you can see <laughs> It's a neat pommel though, it's like a chrome, it's a chrome pommel. I don't remember where I got it. Average? No, no, that's just the average, it's not average quality. Then boom, we have ourselves a silver sword, or a titan sword, with a fancy ass handle. So we're gonna go ahead and slap this bad boy into this thing. Eh. Oh, come on. This actually is pretty cool looking, I'm not gonna lie. We need to use a magic crystal. I, I get it, but you also have to add the wet. Hmm. Oh boy! I got five. I got like six minutes left. Seriously, why are you breaking my balls? All right, let's stick with that. And then we're gonna go down. We're gonna get a fire crystal. I don't think you need any more reagents for that. 
There's also Blizzard, which is pretty cool. That's pretty, I think that's the most expensive, or Hell, there's a Hell Crystal. Because, I mean, what the, why the hell not? Ah, sorry. Just dumb, just really dumb. There we go. So, uh, down here you'll see a glyph thing. We need to go find fire. Get in here somewhere. There's also soul. We just went in thunder. We need to go back, please. So, oh, damn it. Hey. It's okay. I'm just flipping through the pages for fun. Yeah. So, see a fire looks like a, like a, like a butthole. We gotta make that out of this. Should be doable. So, uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. So, we don't need this one. So, that makes that easy. This needs to be down here. Uh, this can... Uh, we don't need that line either. If we go away. Yeah, we do need that line. I'm lying. I'm lying to you. It's just it's a question of how well you could do puzzles. So need this down there. Push that down there. I was pretty good at this at one time, one point in time. Oh, whoops! I moved the wrong one over. Go like that, go like that, go like that, go like that, go like this, go like this. Uh, we don't need this one. Um, we need the dot up there. We need this one up there. We don't need this one. Put this one here. I hate this. This laptop's pissing me off. Pissing me off. I'll tell you what. So this goes up here. This goes like this. Goes like that. And boom. Fire enchanted baby. Look at that. Oh. The thing of beauty. She's a beauty, eh? Easy there, computer. Easy there. Maybe if I full screen it, it won't shut off. Oh, then I can't see the chat. What a bunch what a bunch of bull. What a little bunch of bulls. Bull hung. Anyway, so once we're done with it, we slap it in the custom order box. And then when he comes by, I'm like, oh cool, you got my shard. Thank you, sure. Take off the do not disturb. Might get some more sales because these swords are a little pricey. That was 3800. That was 3600. This one's 5300. 35, 33, and 10,200. Look at that. You can look at the quality and all kinds of stuff with your blade if you stare at it. Oh, yeah. See, that's not the best. The handle price is actually really freaking high. The grind quality is very good. Handle quality is excellent, but my forge quality is bad, and it's not tempered, which hurts it. But it's under the price, I think. Well, probably not. So the element thing comes in from the cauldron, I believe. I think. Don't quote me on that either. Anyways, uh, we'll wait for what's his head for a couple minutes. In the meantime, let's go ahead and start melting another ingot. I'm not sure how we're supposed to get outside, or if you could even get outside. You could also melt these down for iron, I think. These are tungsten? Yeah. Tungsten's good. This is silver, and gold I think I'm out of. I think I used all my gold. What a bummer. What a bummer, eh? And I know there's a lot more down here. There's a lot more. Uh... Oh, God, sorry. I don't, I don't mean to do that. We'll have to do some Damascus too, eh? That'd be fun. Um, a lot of chemicals for it. It's pretty cheap. Um, let's see here. How? I don't know how to do how to do the do. You can't buy it anywhere, can you? Let me look to see if you could buy it at the castle. Neck, 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 neck. Ne ne yeah, whatever. Shut up. I'm coming. Quit your yelling. I'm not yelling. Hi, I want to buy a decent sword higher than 5,000. Hell yeah, I do. You have, will you take 10,000? <laughs> yes. Thanks for the 10,000 gold, bro. Oh, yeah. I'm level 18. I don't know how to level your luck. Maybe it's starting a new map. That's probably the case. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. I want to make things. Um, is my coke ready? Yeah, it's ready. Okay, I'm waiting on what's his head, and then maybe we'll go do some mining. Okay, there's a little bit of a delayed re 
Okay. A little bit of delayed reaction. Look at that big tiny sword we sold. So what do we have left are silver swords, I think. Not a popular um, material for weapons, apparently. I haven't sold one of them yet. Such a creepy noise. I love it. I love it. Come buy your damn sword, you little you little turd nug, you turd nug. You can go out there. Uh, you're supposed to be able to buy some sort of gate. Uh. Hi. <laughs> Anyways, I can't wait to show you guys the mine. It's a bit ridiculous. But I think if we can get enough gold, maybe we can make like a big expensive one again. There he is. I was waiting on you. You were two seconds late. Yes, I did. I can offer you this much for the amount that you said it was worth. Look at that. How do I see how much reputation I have? Oh, I'm the greatest. I think I'm down to like two. I think I just need two more. Um, I'll put do not disturb. I need two more. Uh, like in its achievements, and I have all of them. Here is the basement. I hope you enjoy it. This is the mine. Can you see anything? Probably not. Move over Minecraft. There's a new king in town. Uh, as far as mining simulators are concerned. You pick this thing up. There we go. So I, I obviously I have more than I know what to do with some of these materials and artifacts and boons. So I made some spots. Also went a little crazy in regards to uh, how far I've dug. This is creepy. Expect to jump scare at any minute, guys. Oops, I pressed the wrong button. So mining is as easy as one, two, three, four. And then out pops nothing. Most of the time nothing comes out, but eventually stuff comes out. And eventually you'll mine yourself into the abyss. It's great. This is not an infinite mining uh, saga. No sir, no sir. It eventually ends. Let's look at this fine craft of mining. Uh, honestly, uh, Minecraft has a lot to learn. This is how it's done. This is how it's supposed to be. This is how it's supposed to be. All right. Nope. So. Uh, I actually had a lot of plans this weekend, you know? Mr. <laughs> doesn't normally have any plans on the weekend. Had plans this weekend. Look at that! We struck copper! And what looks to be maybe silver? Hmm? No, that's not silver. Oh, it's a golden bracelet! <gasps> oh! Should we find an artifact? We'll go put it up. So, I mean, usually I also put a torch to every place where you store things. I'm a smart man. Here's my copper that I have. Just, just, just a metric ton of it. Anything's valuable, I'll stick it in that box. But I normally have, I had a lot of plans this weekend, and normally I don't have that many. So, you know, it's Mother's Day weekend and all that. And uh, I had plans to hang out with uh, one of my old friends from high school. I haven't seen her in ages. And uh, it's tungsten. It's even better. I thought it was going to be Titan. Titan's like kind of like a pale silver. Um... And then I was also going to hang with Alan this weekend. Well, they both got sick. And that is called my luck. So my weekend just opened up. So I'm going to stream late night tonight. Because I couldn't get the kid to go to sleep until very recently. So here I am. Let's see if I can find the... We'll leave that there. There is one of these tunnels somewhere that just goes out to the abyss. Let's see if I can find it. I like how the floor is also wood. This is not stone. Seriously though, if you were to like slap some creepy monster noises in this game, this would be like the spookiest game ever. See, here's the abyss. This is just the abyss. See? There's the other side of the abyss. We could, we could go ahead and, and mine some of the abyss. Uh, yeah, tongs. That's what I need. Friggin' tongs. Yeah, just mine some of the abyss. 
bad part is, is when you lose things, if, they, if you mine some good stuff, it goes in the abyss and you never see it again. I don't think you can mine the floor. No, I can't. What a good thing. But generally, what's a good thing to do, and what I've normally done, is found a good location to mine. This is a terrible location. And mine for about 10 minutes. Look at what I got. Bring it back up. All while listening to Eiffel 65. That was pretty much my, like, my my daily routine when this game came out. For like, two solid weeks. I'd come home from work, and then for like an hour I'd just play this game and listen to Eiffel 65. And realize, like, what was I thinking when I was into this? It was on my iPod for some reason. I had it on my iTunes. It's like, hey, all right, Eiffel 65. What happened to them? I don't know. They're Euro pop, man. Pretty much the best. Pretty much. Not really pretty much. Actually the best. But anyways. Yeah, it was either this, this game. I was going to play either this game or I was going to do some legacy raids. Some WoW. <sighs> Let me tell you guys, the state of WoW is not good. <laughs> no siree Bob. Everyone seems to be... Um, pretty woefully underwhelmed and frustrated with Blizzard Activision, especially with their decision to make character cloning services cost $35, and they're re-releasing an old DLC that's already been out once for 40 bucks, which just blows my mind. I don't understand that. I also don't understand what character cloning is. I don't really care because I'm the game safe. I'm not that much of a um, hardcore fan player. I'll reactivate it for a month, play it for a few weeks, get bored of it, and then move on. You go back to playing Total Annihilation, or uh, what's it called? Um, Supreme Commander Forged Alliance. I'm really bad at it, too. It's just fun to go to. Forged Alliance Forever, by the way, is this. If you're into Forged Alliance, Looked up Forge Alliance Forever. It's this like fan made server service thing that like allows you to mod the ever living tar out of it. Oh shoot, I unlocked the abyss. Okay, so let's look and see what we got. Mm, it's pretty much junk. That might be Titan. That might be Titan too, or maybe iron. Let's mine the other direction. Um you can mod the ever-loving tar out of it, and that's what I've been doing. I've just been getting as many mods as I can on it at once. So instead of, like, the usual 40 units and, like, 12 buildings, it's, like, 70 units and 60 buildings. <laughs> Stupid amount of, like, PD, like, point defense. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. Huge-ass experimentals shoot halfway across the map. It's so much fun. I love RTSs. I really do. I need to come out with a better one. I had a dream. I have one I want to design, but it's not an RTS. It's a, um, it's a, my idea for a game. Okay. You can't steal it because it's mine. Um, uh, copyrighted it in my brain. Don't take it. Was to take, make an RTS, RTS strategy MMO, right? Make like Raid Shadow Legends. But not, but not though, because like that's weird. I don't want time gating. Screw time gating. It's stupid. I hate it. Frustrates me. It's a way. It, it makes sense because it's like, oh, you know, you can pick up and play, and then what is happening? And then put it down and come back to it. Like that's fine. You can do that with any game though. Any any like newish game. Ha oh, oh, look at the look at the time. Look at the time. Thank you. Um. Where's OT? Titan or Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll just walk back real quick. I could kind of see. But anyways, it's a stick of thing. Divinity original sin, but like you control small armies. Uh, but you could like equip each member in, in 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 different gear and make them in different classes and stuff like that. And they come up with all these different classes and stuff and It'd be fun. I, I've, I've had it all mapped out in my head for a long time. And, like, there'd be, like, progression. Because I've always been a fan of the... I, I like the, the analogy I use is um, Hose to Waterfall. Also, 
Do you think I have enough urns yet? Jesus. Um, so, like, it starts out small and then it, and it blows up. So, like, you'd start out on this small piece, this, this island country land thing where you go around and you do missions. And eventually you unlock, like, a boat and you get to go to, like, different, uh, like, countries and stuff and different regions. And then eventually you unlock it to where you get to go, like, different realms and different worlds you know it's just the the hose to waterfall water hose to waterfall theory theorem I believe that's a thing i keep walking past this i think maybe i need to make it a little bit more obvious maybe if i chisel it out a little bit is that more obvious bigger. i'm sure you guys can see this this is wonderful i know i have top quality top notch Top friggin' notch quality stream. You can see everything. I'm really tired of coal and I'm really tired of. Um, ooh, that's actually a conch. That's actually pretty good. I'm tired of coal and I'm tired. Ooh, sh well. Okay. <laughs> that happens every once in a while, folks. It happens. Um. Actually, I'll we'll take the coal up. I think I have a hole for coal. A coal hole, if you will. Where's the coal hole? I have a coal hole? Has anyone seen the coal hole? Do I have a coal hole? I should have a coal hole. I should have stop saying that. It's weird. I have a, my brother in law's name's Coal. I think I walked off here, yeah. Hey, that happens. Alright, let's go ahead and take this. And we'll pick up this torch, too. No, we can't, because we're using that hand. You can't use the other hand, stupid. Stupid, you can't do that. You're dumb. What are you? What are you, an unintelligent being? I don't know what I'm saying. Sorry, guys. Yeah, there's a coal pile over here. I guess we're gonna win this in, too. Oh, yeah, this is. Yeah, this is where I was really going at it. See this crap? There's just land everywhere. It's, it's freaking amazing. I'm gonna be honest. Real honest, it's just great. I was like, I'm gonna mine out this entire area, and I didn't. What are you supposed to do with all this friggin' copper? It's friggin' uh, friggin' copper. Yeah. I try to keep it tidy. It's just really difficult. Also, uh, at least I know that I have plenty of a lot of stuff. I think there's another. Yeah, this is just a recess into just nothingness once more. Don't you hate that when you're mining and like the reality just stops you reach the edge of reality oh there goes gravity you know what i'm saying at least it respawns you back and doesn't crash the game so that's good i guess you have touched the unknown version area you're not supposed to do that i'm not supposed to do that anyways I also am a huge fan of customization i love customization in games so my idea for an RTS, different idea for an RTS, right? And, and they're making, remaking, I guess you could say, a faithful recreation of Total Annihilation, which is what Forged Alliance and Supreme Commander 2 are kind of based off of. Supreme Commander in general, I guess. Anyways, it's great. And I think it's amazing what they're doing. But I think they could take it a step further by implementing customizable units. So you know how, like, you have your tanks... And your scouts and your like heavy tanks and stuff like that well what if and bear with me i don't know if anybody's ever uh for those of you who aren't familiar with total annihilation it's it's a pretty ridiculous rts where you have like bot factories that can make robots and then vehicle factories that make vehicles and there's hover factories for hovercrafts and you can make planes and sea planes and it's just ridiculous and boats and underwater factories and it's crazy like every type of unit you can think of has its own factory. Well, what if you could mod modulate the care to each, um, like you could modulate your scouts for specific purposes or modulate your light assaults to be heavy light assaults that maybe hit harder but don't fire as often or, you know, stuff like that. What if? What if you could do that? What is that? What is that? Oh, it's a stinger. It's useful. Don't don't let it, don't let its weird appearance fool you. You know, like 
like you could have a character or, or a unit that fires like rapidly but does light damage or has reduced range or takes increased damage or something like that so you could you can have these presets of different units you could swap out or you could or you could set up at the beginning of the fight and you can't swap, swap out during the fight or whatever so you could decide to go well i'm gonna go um tanky you know like a heavy assault have i don't hit super hard but i have a lot of hit points or you could hit super hard but like glass cannon build like where you hit super hard you could die really easily or you do like a balance build where you're you know you're trying to stay in max range um or you could try to go for max AOE, or you could do like try to uh, balance units or something like that. So you can you have like nine slots in each factory where you can optimize like different tier units. So like you can make your second tier be like very close range and with very fast attackers, and then your third tier could be very heavily armored. You know, there's more points that could be acclimated toward it, or like the amount of points that each piece of equipment you put on it think of it like think of it like a uh, mech warrior right there's only a certain amount of points you can put on each mech imagine like that but for units and it wouldn't have to be anything fantastical like you don't have to like add lasers and rockets or something like that you can make like and or or maybe the different tier items can or different tier units can have different numbers of equipment and items and stuff like that and abilities it's just stuff like that it's just because i remember i played an rts way back in the day like you could change the weapon that each that each unit used you can change the um like the way it moved you can make it to where it has like spider legs snaky old spider legs um you could change it to where it's like on treads you could change what the body looked like, if it had heavier armor, if it moved quicker. Like, that was genius. That was freaking genius. And someone needs to come back. Oh, it's the wrong area. Give me this. Give me this. So, okay, well. So long, bucko. I'm about to fall. There we go. I'm about to fall out again. Um, it's genius. And they should bring it back in the RTS and make it to, like, you know. So, say, for example, you get your MLRS, right? It's your long-range missile systems that fire a volley of rockets across the map at long range doing heavy damage. Well, what if you could change it to where they're just short-ranged? They don't fire as many, but they're, you know, they do a lot more damage, but smaller AOE or something. It's, 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 it's a thing. It's a thing they should do. That's the wrong button, though. That's the wrong button, though. This is a tungsten war. Yeah, all right. Let's go ahead and make a sword, eh? No one, no one came to Fantasy Blacksmith to Fantasy Mine, okay? Everyone's gonna watch this and be like instantly jealous that Minecraft isn't like this. Well, let me tell you. Trust me, I was one of them. So we managed to find uh, what is this? This is Titanor, isn't it? Uh, Titanor, which is fine. I think my Titan's right here. And then a couple tungstens is pretty good. No, I screwed up. I screwed up. I think this is tungsten. Oh my gosh. Oh no, I messed up everything. I wonder how that's how how is that possible? These look so different. Oh. This is time for tungsten. This is tungsten. It's good. Tungsten's good. I kinda want gold and silver, but eh, winners can't be choosers. Winners do drugs. Wait. Damn it. I don't know. We got two more golden bracelets though, which I think I ran out of. And the stinger, I believe, is needed for something. As is the shell. So, hey, I think we won it. We, we did pretty good. There we go. Right, get in there. But anyways, that's my idea for RTS. Ordem is kind of like a fantasy... A fantasy RTS. Um, like, strategy, fantasy strategy RTS... MMO where you can play with the character you can have it would be like it wouldn't be like an MMO I guess it'd just be multiplayer so like you can have what's that freaking stinger I think I need that um you can have like your buddies pre-assemble teams and like join you in, in the battlefield for like special multiplayer missions or something like that which I guess is very why did I put a torch there there's already one there which is 
probably been done before. Let's let's be honest. But I mean, yeah, but it has time gating, time gating involved, and it's not not nearly customizable enough. When I say customizable enough, by the way, in that game, I want like you could have these crazy enchants for all your pieces of armor or for all the different kinds of armor and you can have crazy enchants for all the weapons and you can uh transmogrify like you can in wow and you can have these different kinds of magic effects you can put on weapons just like an armor and shit, shit like that would be great it'd be great what plans someday it'll never happen but i can i can dream it's fun to dream it is fun to dream. You can't argue with that. That it is fun to dream. Don't you do it? All right. My freaking computer, my lappy, wants to be like, no, no, I'm going to lock. I'm a lock. I'm a lock. Sorry. Anyways, let's go ahead and make a sword. What am I doing? Let's go, let's go with some copper in here. We're gonna make a copper sword, or are we? Hmm. It remains to be seen. We will see. You'll all see when I'm finished. You know how it is. Can you get it? Get in. Get get in. Get get in. Get get in there, bro. There we go. So we need to warp away for it to melt. But we're gonna go ahead and bite bite some materials. Material biting time. We need clovers in order to activate the thing, which means we should probably go ahead and buy some clovers. Trying to find, so we're sold the coke stove. I'm confused. There's gold and silver. You can see how expensive they are. Whew. Um, you know, let's buy a guard from here. Um, guard. Let's do this guard. It's ridiculous looking, but hey. You know what? Let's do silver. And then we want to make a handle. Let's use this handle. And let's make it ivory. No. Yes. Gold. We're going big. Going big mode. Then we need to buy a pommel. Let's buy a pommel from Dragon Cliffs. Because we, we need to use them more. I get like a level 2 club thing. I love this one. We do Dragon Lava pommel. Whoa. That's okay. We don't need anything. Let's just do silver. Let's just do silver. Okay. So we're going to do something. Something that you the viewer won't know what's going on yet there's also you can buy slugs and centipedes and stuff we're gonna need let's buy a red clover too we'll put, we'll, you, you know let's buy a hell crystal what what the hell <laughs> right there's a dragon gem Ooh, what's this for is that like a dragon enchant thing i don't know anyway that will be fourteen hundred dollars please uh sure do i have any steel plates i should have probably checked do i have any time to watch this too long i don't have any steel plates oh man titties i wish i'd known that before i sent it off now i gotta wait for it to come back i done screwed up crap oh well have to wait three minutes three whole friggin minutes oh well we'll wait for this to be done also gotta look at something else because we're gonna be doing something with the cauldron folks <laughs> that's right we're gonna be making an, a magic weapon which means you don't have to worry about what kind of material you put into it i don't even think you have to worry about damascusing the blade before transmogrifying it into a different type but i'm gonna do it anyway so we could probably do hydra if we can get a hold of poison and cobra since we have the sting now ghost is cool i like ghost Magic would be neat, but I don't know where to get the mushroom. Um, lob would be cool, but I've never gotten a pen. You can get it. I think you can get a pen as part of a trade deal. I'm not sure how it works. Water lobster. I haven't got a lobster. Let's try. Um, I think water would be cool. Maybe no magic. Let's see if we can do magic. I'm not sure if mushrooms are available. See, so yeah, see, it says right here to use cheap metals. But it's going to require like 10 minutes, 15, 12, 12 minutes to do this. First sword, which is weird. I don't really understand it. 
I love the little. Ah, oh, it's great. I mean, I'm making legendaries up in this biatch. Alright? You know what I'm saying? Pretty pumped. Is it done yet? Yeah, it's pretty mobile. See, so we're using copper, so you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to worry about it. Let's make it. Should we just make. I'm not gonna make a skinny blade, because I feel like it just doesn't work out in the long run. So, uh, let's. Let's do something like this. And let's uh, add uh, this, 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 and then this, this, this. This? This, this. Hmm. Uh, let's do this. That'll work. That will work. That'll work. Alright. Let's see if we can do this. I am very tired. It's like eleven forty. And I'm an old man, so this is like three o'clock in the morning for me, you know what I mean? Know what I mean? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We have to start the forge again. It's okay. The great thing is, it's copper, so you can just use coal. You don't have to use coke. You don't have to use kick. And coal is so cheap at this point. All right. Yeah. All right. Spin. This is a little disorientating. Let's just toss that in there. Might, we might wait a minute for it to heat up. Not wait that long. Look at that. It's already getting toasty. It's already becoming a delicious hot pocket. But anyways, speaking of like things that are fun to dream, I, I've you know who hasn't dreamed about winning the lottery? I'll tell you what. I know what I would do if I won a lottery, and that would be I would probably end up donating most of it. Cause like imagine if you win like hundreds of millions of dollars like you're never gonna spend all of that like what's the point give it to someone else who could use it so I'd, I'd probably end up donating it most to schools and like to uh, charities and to churches and to um, honestly municipalities I probably do I probably donate if some of it to like you know like um, like police stations and stuff and like humane societies and and like fire stations just like well, you know, like you find a little town that's struggling and then you're like hey man we have we need help with equipment and stuff so um and i'm like oh yeah i'll buy you a new fire engine or something you know or maybe you can't really miss up supply funding to like increase uh you know employees or whatever because that's just temporary i guess what you could do is like start programs for training them and, and spreading out like like um, what's the word getting the word out that like you know you could become a firefighter and, and introducing training programs or funding training programs like that's something I could do like if I won a million dollars damn it you fucking son of a oh, god god bless pardon the uh, cursing it's just Nothing gets my blood boiling like a poorly forged blade, I'll tell you what. Anyway. So I had an idea. Because I live in Oklahoma, which has terrible school funding. My idea was to do a YouTube series where I would go and um, go to every school in Oklahoma that is having a major problem. And even those who don't. Just to like, because they said like, oh the lottery is supposed to help out schools. Well it hasn't really, let's be honest. And I would pay to have like Christmas crackers. Would you just work? Thank you. There we go. We might stick this back in the thing for just a few seconds. You're nice and toasty. And like, you know what I mean? Just like find whatever major repair, like the gymnasium needs to be replaced or something, or, or whatever. Or like the roof needs to be fixed. There we go, get the blade tempered. Woo! Not that it matters. Right, let's go ahead and. Thank you. Put the blade and stuff up there. And the hell crystal, because we're going to hell. We're going to hell crystal. I think you can add a magic effect on top of a ghost blade or something. I'm going to find out today. 
Um, and well, no, never mind. I'll just drop it on the floor. I think that's the same pommel I used last time. They're very similar. The silver ones are so cool looking. I love. Them. Anyways, um, and I, I'd go to every one of them, and I'd also like I want to do something like um, paying a teacher, paying all the teachers a certain amount of money to just like go out and like like fund maybe a um, like a field trip or um, like doing like a, like hosting a big party that to like bring up awareness for like a special school program they want to promote. You know what I mean? Stuff like that. This education is important and I feel like it can use all the help it could get in regards to like um, notoriety or like advertisement. I don't know what I'm trying to say. You get it though. People are listening. You, you guys get it. You guys get it. Don't I have, why would it give me the option to buy the same thermometer more than once? Riddle me that. Um, where the hell am I? And why can't I buy any metal plates there? Yeah, I think every place is supposed to sell them. Um, yeah, here we go. Metal box. Put a couple of those. I think I have all the chemicals I need. I'm gonna find out if Damascusing even does anything. I should. I should have done it the cheap. I mean, if I did it. Oh, that was quick. Oh yeah, right. It broke. So <laughs> it happens. Just it's just two minutes. If I would have done it at the village, it probably would have taken like thirty seconds, but. That's okay, I got other stuff I need to do. Let's go ahead and grind it anyway. So yeah, that would be my plan. I do like a little documentary, like kind of spotlighting, like, damn it, I did it again. Spotlighting like, um, like teachers, from the, just for getting some like teachers, um, insight on like the problems that they see with the education system and some insight on like, Saturday's testing and stuff like that and really spreading awareness on like how messed up our uh, freaking our freaking education system is and how we need to fix it and some ideas to come up with just to give advertising because I believe if there is a workforce that doesn't have enough uh, voice in this state anyway it's got to be the teachers let me tell you what Oof. my wife right she's seventy thousand dollars in debt because of the school and she went through the same amount of, like, schooling that I'm pretty sure a master's student would have to go through. And, um, and in the end, like, they, they don't get paid nearly enough, hardly at all. So, I just think that they could do a lot better to treat them better, you know what I'm saying? This is fun though. So if, since this thing's broken, uh, it won't go back up to grab it. It'll just fall on you. So we're gonna get ready for a metal plate rain. You ready? This is exciting. It's gonna happen any second now. Boop a doo, boop -do -do -do. bonk. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna make a domestic weapon. Domestic, domestic. We throw a box in there, and then we throw the blade, or we do it vice versa. I don't remember. Oh, look at this middle game. Here we go. Uh, there will be five large and five. You can't. You gotta, you gotta layer these correctly, okay? You can't. You can't just put them willy nilly. How to get a perfect Damascus? Don't know. Don't ask me. I, I have never figured out the intricacies of this. I don't know if you need to line up the metals that are the same looking metals together to make them look right, or to make sure that none of them line up. I. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. So, uh, yeah. All I know is they have to be, like, stacked evenly. Otherwise, it'll fail it, and you just won't get it at all. You'll have wasted your time. Hardy har har. Your time has been wasted. Wow. Um, that's, that's, is that five large plates? No, yep. So we got two more small plates, and then we'll have, this thing will be dem Damascusized. And if you could tell me how this works... I'd appreciate it. This is perfect. Why? I don't know. Anyways, we got a, we got a dimus disguise, guys, and then we're going to um, okay, mix some glass, cut some iron cuttings, hydrochloric. You got, you got, everyone's knows how to do Damascus. So why am I bothering to tell you? I mean, come on. Um, I'm actually going to run a timer on my 
um, computer here so that I can keep track of it. All right. So we need to mix in a glass of iron cutting from hydrochloric acid. Heat the mixture till it's a green color. Pour it hydro hydrogen peroxide uh, into the preheated mixture to obtain a red color. Pour the resulting ferric chloride uh, solution onto the blade of the sword. Give three to five minutes for the pattern to appear. Dip the blade in a barrel of water. So, you ready for this? So we're gonna take this and we're gonna mix it. Yeah, we're gonna add a little bit of metal flakes here. They're very cubic, don't worry about that. How we managed to acquire them, I don't know. And then we need to take some hydrochloric acid. Is this right? Is this right? I think so. It's been a while, guys. This might be incorrect. E. Oh, press and hold E, my bad. And pull this thing up. Then we got to heat it. And then we put this thing in here. No. Then we take this. And we're just going to heat this thing up. Warm it up. Should start to boil here shortly. And then it'll start to turn green. There's the colors you're looking for. But it's hard to tell sometimes. I think I did it incorrectly. I did. See how it's dissipating? I was supposed to pour the hydrochloric acid in there like a freaking dummy. I don't know why you keep, why you're doing stop it. It's just gonna catch fire and burn the whole place down. So let's, I screwed it up. I screwed it up. I always do it backwards the first time. Never fails. We need a shell too, don't we? No, we just got a shell. Doofus. I have to track down the other reagents. So I'm gonna go over here and buy some ferrum and H2O2. Let's go ahead and get rid of this. So I balls it up. I didn't take long, did it? Didn't take long at all. But anyways. What was I talking about? Like, what I would do with the lottery winnings? I think I already talked about that. The rest of it, because imagine if you win, like, $300 million or $130 million or whatever. What are you going to do with all that, you know? I'd buy a bunch of fancy cars, right? Of course I would. I wouldn't buy, like, a mansion with 80 rooms in it. It'd probably be, like, a two-story house that has, like, four bedrooms and three baths. Maybe, like, a small pool. There'd be, like, a study and an exercise room like a uh, typical close to a million dollar house range here on like five acres of land or something you know nothing, nothing huge it would have and then my garage would be a state of the art spit of the art eight car garage and i'd buy all my dream cars which would be and I've given this a lot of thought. Um, the Lexus LFA is one of the cars I want. The Lamborghini Aventador is on there. The I think I can get a Tesla just because I didn't want a Tesla until after I saw that you could customize the horn. And I was like, sold. <laughs> Give it to me. It's stupid, I know. I'd make it do the Taco Bell noise. So when you hit the horn, it's like, dong. And people would be like, ah. Uh -huh. Or I want Taco Bell, one of the two reactions. And I would get a GTR, Nissan GTR. And I would get a nice Mercedes, like an SLS. And I would get a, a Ferrari, a 458 maybe, maybe not. I don't know if I get a McLaren or not. That's a good question. McLaren worth it? I've heard bad things about McLaren. Well, not good things. Kutunk. Um, put some more ferrum in there. So you just add it like doing this. Miss. Miss! Um, let's, let's try this again. Let's try this again. Okay, yep. I always do it incorrectly. Can we empty it? Finish heating. Empty it. Came out to empty it. Oh, let's just go ahead and I mean, do nothing. Just go ahead and add the hydrochloric and hydrochloride. I think that's what that is. I'm just stupid. To me, it looked like that there was not enough in there to heat up the liquid. 
but I guess I'm wrong. Isn't there more material? No. Isn't there more in? I don't know. I think I'm just stupid. That might just be what it is. See, this just starts to dissolve the metal until you get a nice green color. There we go. You gotta be kind of quick with it too sometimes because you can get it too green maybe. I don't know. That's not dark enough. No, not quite. Not quite. And there. Finish heating. That looks pretty green, right? And then we, well, the metal didn't disappear. That's a little bit concerning, but fuck it. Maybe it won't matter. <laughs> uh, pardon my French. It is a little late, and I just being a little bit of a, have a little bit of a mouth on me this morning. This, this night this night pour on the blade this probably isn't going to work very well because the iron didn't dissolve um that or it's bugged out it could be one of two regardless i don't even think the damascus see it's a bad damascus i can't even get the iron out but anyways we're gonna we're gonna time it anyway <laughs> so let's sit there and stare at it for a few minutes in the meantime we're going to see what other items we need for the enchant I think we have a shell. Um, there's a shell right here. Is that what this is? That's a shell. Eh. This is a horn. And then this is a lobster. Lobster! We do have a lobster. Oh, crap. Uh, what do we need for magic? No, for, yeah, magic. Flowers, berries, and mushrooms. I know flowers and berries, I think, are sold, but I'm not sure if, um, flowers and berries, where would they be sold? Why would you just, I just went to that one, you big dummy. You built Donald, you built Donald Ball. Magic. It's Dragon Gym, oh, that's used for. Um, I think you need a magic stone too. Yeah, I think you do. You have to start everything off with a magic stone, I believe. It's like a primer. Um, there's a mine gem. What is this? I don't know. Clear stone. It's not there. Any cemetery? Maybe, I don't know what that's for. Someone tell me. There's lots of runes too. You have to unlock those. It's not an urn, it's an urna. Remember, it's pretty. So there's the flower, there's the berries. So we just need the mushroom, which I'm not sure is acquirable. There's no magic there, that's not good. Crash box I never bought. There's nothing crap. So we're just missing missing the mushroom. Well shoot, dude. I'm gonna have to do something else then. Because I don't know where else to look for in one. Darn. Just went to that. Dang. Dango dango. Well, poop. What do we have? Let's go look to see what we have in the old storage. We don't happen to have a mushroom laying around, do we? There's a root. Um, those are shells. Fangs. Uh, this is a, another shell. There's some stingers. Some goblets. Speaking of stingers, put this thing away. Oh, that means my Damascus finished. You could dismiss now. Thank you, sir. It's a bad Damascus, which means it's not going to be great. But hey, well, obviously, it's probably going to be pretty bad. Yeah, it looks ugly as hell. It's fine. I don't even care. We're going we're gonna to assemble. Oop, we're going to assemble this bitch. Oop, we're going to try to assemble it. This thing decided to work. There we go. Boink. Boink. I, you know, it's funny because you, you always sit there and fantasize about how your dream house would look. I've been doing it since I was a kid, and I know exactly how it would look to a point. I know what the kitchen and living room would look like. It'd be an open floor concept. 
say like a step down I want stone floors maybe wood floors in the, on the kitchen stone floors in the living room I've always liked stone brick floors because like that's what my um, grandparents had it's amazing I love that house Whew. Yeah, that house was amazing. It was a great little house. And man, the new owners bought it and it just looks like garbage now. They're like, this was an old person house because an old person used to live here. Let's make it look like an even older person lived here. Yeah. It's silly. Because I think you, let's see, you need to put swords. Oh yeah. Next step is to put a magic boilet and then add the, okay, so we can't. We can't do the magic sword because we don't have a mushroom. We could do the saint one, which would be neat. I guess we could do saint. Let's do saint. I think we'll wait times as long on that one. So saint sword is a root of flower and holy water. So I believe we have a root and we need to buy a flower, which we already have in the old cart. And I know where the holy water is. It's in the little castle. And then we have a magic stone in there already. And then there's another, what we want to do is, I want to put a magic on it afterwards. I'm not sure if you could buy the stone that I'm thinking of. There's hell and fire, wonderful. Um, Blizzard, I don't want that one. I want the thunder, do they have the thunderstone? Blood, bloodstone, yeah, blood. This was a nature, isn't it? Wood gym? Yeah. You can't buy thunder. Damn. Shoot, dude. Well, no, I don't want to do hell. Do we? Do we want to do hell? A Saint Hell sword? That seems a bit. A little contradictory. Let's get rid of the berries. Okay, so I think we have a root. Let's go ahead and double check to make sure we'll go ahead and take it up there. Yep, we have a root. Oops, we dropped it. Because we have butterfingers. What do you mean? So, I also, also have an aerial atom. Which looks like fun. And, um, I always wanted to take the first car I ever had, right? Which was, was a Lumina. Was it two, 1990, 1991? 1993 Lumina. And, and play it. Or not play it, but like, get, just like, deck it out, like pimp it out, like add this big ass engine in it and stuff. I always thought would be, uh, I always thought that'd be fun. <laughs> Prepare for the tedium. Sorry, my noisy sword wall. Did you hate that when you go to a sword store and it's just like really obnoxious? You're just like, ah, oh, dang, man. Your sword wall is so loud. Sorry, man. I know. I'm meaning to put like some sound barriers around it. This sword's pretty sweet on its own, actually. Looks pretty ridiculous. Let's see how much it's worth right now. Just slap it on this rack real quick. 913, mostly because it's terrible forge quality. And the Damascus is average? Alright. I guess it's because the, the regular Damascus was perfect. Layering is perfect. I just forgot the chemicals. Because I'm a stupid man. <laughs> People will buy artifacts every once in a while, but I don't get why you really want to, because they don't sell for very much, honestly. So good for pocket change, and then you can play dice with them, which I don't understand. I don't really care. I don't really care. There might be something to it. I just don't care. I don't think I've ever done a soul, either. There's soul, death, blood, hell, fire, ice, thunder, nature. I think that's all. Beautiful hammer. Let's go ahead and just hammer on this nothing. It's gorgeous. But uh, yeah, um, I can't think of there's. I always wanted a Lamborghini Diablo GT, which was produced in 1988. Which there, I think there are only 88 of. And the year I was born. They're ridiculous looking, and they probably get like 
um, two gallons to the mile, but I always wanted one. Which, uh, you know, thinking about it, people are like, oh man, you like those cars, you probably also want like a Ford GT or something. No, I don't. I think Ford GT is ridiculous. But, yeah, there's a I'm not sure which Ferrari I'd want. I want. I would want a Ferrari. I don't think I'd want um, a... I wouldn't want a... Like a Pagani. Those cars are just impractical. And I don't think I'd want a... Maseratis are just weird. So are Jaguars. Bentleys are ridiculous. Like, I understand. The, maybe when I'm old and I win the lottery. I'll buy a big Bentley. A little big boat of a car if I could hire someone to drive it. Like, they get kind of insane. Aston Martin's kind of the same way. My goodness. They make some fancy-ass cars. They're very expensive, very premium. Which one's the Phantom? Whatever makes the Phantom. Is that the, um... Is that Bentley? Is the Bentley Phantom? Like some two hundred dollar, two hundred thousand dollar car, five hundred thousand dollar car, something like that. And then there's Bugatti. I wouldn't buy one of those because, like, oh wow, the thing can go like two hundred some odd miles an hour. Like when, where, why? <laughs> Three questions. <laughs> I don't ever need to go that fast. I want to go fast, but uh, at a quick enough speed, and you know with maintenance that's not that quite ridiculous. I feel like I think East retires like crazy. I would run out of gas every five minutes. Okay, so we got everything we needed here. So let's go ahead and take our stiff up here. And we are gonna be making a magic sword. I hope you're prepared for lots of downtime. Oops, don't put it in there yet. Yeah. I, that's how I'm gonna put stuff in boxes from now. I'm just kind of loom over it and then just kind of huck it in. It looks like you could just like pop the cork off of it, but you can't. Can you? It, it does kind of highlight the top, doesn't it? And it does. That's the only part of the highlights I see. I don't know. Bugatti, you'd think like, oh yeah. Oh yeah, I get a Veyron or what Chiron or whatever it is. I don't think I would. I'd also get like one custom car made, just something ridiculous. Oh yeah, and I get a Corvette. I get a Corvette, of course. My mom just bought a, a Stingray, Z ZR1 Stingray, which is pretty nice. And yeah, first you need to put the sword in the magic column. Next step is to put a magic stone bolt. Three to five minutes, you dumbass. Two, three, three to five minutes. So we're gonna pop the sword in there. Like a so, speech. And then we're gonna put the magic stone in. Like it is. And you're like, okay, and let's go ahead and get the timer right. Um, let's set it for. Just to be safe, because I'm always paranoid about this stuff. Yeah. I'll pop it in. I'll wait 3 minutes and 21 seconds. Oh yeah, it's boiling away in there. It's gonna make you a nice, have a nice jacuzzi. Things I do want to get, like, I'm never gonna win the lottery, right? I mean, or I am. I just gotta go in and really quick and just play it real fast. That people are just not doing it right. That's the problem. They're just not playing it right. They're not doing it right. I just need to go and just get the the, the winning numbers real quick and win it. But I'm probably never gonna do that. So I don't want to make everybody else feel bad. I just like going out and win it real fast um, like it's nothing so I have to stick to more feasible matters because I'm, I'm a poor man and that's okay I have a house and a wife and a kid and I have a car it's fine I'm, I'm living lower middle class class is where I'm comfortable I don't care what am I talking about anymore but I have a few plans to renovate the old abode. Because first thing we're gonna do is we're going to install some built-in shelves in this room where I'm at to increase storage space. Then we're gonna replace the flooring in the living room and hallway and switch over to vinyl planks because that carpet is disgusting. And I have a dog who's incontinent and likes to piss me off. Um, and then eventually we're gonna take the pantry 
which is this little cubby room thing on the other side of the kitchen. We're going to take that out and replace it with a bathroom. We're just going to put like a sink and toilet in it so it's like a bath and a half. And when we eventually sell this place, I'm going to do some major renovation in here and add a closet. So it counts as a bathroom. So originally this was a garage bedroom. And uh, no, this was originally a garage. And I'm going to put a closet in it to make it a bedroom and sell it as a three bed, two bath instead of a two bed, one bath. Hard floors. I'm just trying to increase my equity. I'm also going to add a building in the back eventually and a jacuzzi. And I'm going to have the back porch redone. This is all on like my 10 year plan. I'm also going to go back to school. That thing I gotta do. First thing I gotta do is um, um, get the kid in school. Get the kid in elementary school. Get him in a, in a in a routine. It's important. Speaking of kid, if he ever watches this video, a piece of information I want to give to him as he gets older is don't take sleep for granted. For the love of God. Uh, you could, I guess you can take it for granted to a point. But just don't. I think the last. You should stop staying up all night. Latter part of high school. Like junior year, senior year. Maybe start making. Like going to bed about time. On time. Maybe even before that. Honestly, I think if you have a bedtime routine from day one. You go to bed every day at like 9. And maybe on weekends at like 11. And that's fine. During the summer. Man, I, I, I don't think, I think my normal bedtime during the summers was like 3 a.m. And I woke up at like freaking 11. Okay, it's, it's been three minutes. What's the next ingredient? Do, 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 do. We need some root for two to four minutes. Just want to pluck some root in there. It's going to do something cool. It's going to do something cool as well, bro. And skaploosh. Neato. That was a neat noise, wasn't it? Uh, let's see what's next. Let's just make sure we're staying on top of it. Root for two to four minutes, and then we're going to add a flower for three to five. And then holy water. If you did everything right, wonderful magic effect from the label come. Two will change. Anyways, that was I was saying. Um. I already lost track. Oh yeah, I used to go to bed at like it's flower, right? I already forgot. Yeah, flower. I used to go to bed like three, wake up at like one. Whoa, Shell, calm down, bro. Um Yeah, I kinda regret it. I used to go through like a twenty four pack of Dr. Pepper a weekend too. It was, it was shocking. My eating habits are shocking <laughs> in general, let's just be honest. They're bad. They're really bad. Like, the, the, the speed in which I can eat food is alarming, which is another piece of information, son. Eat at a, at a good pace. Practice good eating habits. Because holy debus, mine are messed up. And, it's, and I'm paying for it because I have the digestive system of, a, of an old man with a prolapsed colon. Horrible. That's probably TMI. <laughs> honestly and honestly it's not that bad I think I'm exaggerating a tad but it's pretty bad it's pretty bad how long am I supposed to I, you know it's funny my brain my brain she does not function well but she is also a little a little broken whoops we dropped the, the thing put the flower in for three to five minutes and then add the holy water okay Aim away, I don't want to accidentally click it in. Screw up the whole thing. Um, look at this beautiful wall. Look at the detail. But anyways, as I was saying, my, my sleeping habits and eating habits are awful. I'm going to try to teach my kid better. But, you know, you can't really teach a teenager kid anything. Sometimes you have to be a little rough. Like, it gets a little rough when you're trying to teach them this. I'm having trouble with him now, and he's only, what, 16 months old? Oh my gosh. That kid is growing so fast, it's ridiculous. Ugh. 
It's gonna there's gonna come a day when I can't hold him. And it's gonna be a crap day. It's also another thing. Because I went, there's you go through all kinds of different stuff having a kid, especially when you're a new father, new mother. That you're not gonna understand. Or you're gonna wonder if it's correct or whatever. But I mean everyone handles these things differently and this is learning experience. Some people believe that once you have a kid you'll just suddenly you know, it, it just clicks and you are now uh you know, all the parent stuff. It's instinct. It really isn't. Because this person that, you, that your kid, when it's born, is still kind of a stranger to you, and um, it's 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 hard at first. And I just say, you know, don't feel bad. If uh, there we go. Oh, that's pretty. I like purple. Don't feel bad if you feel like you shouldn't feel bad, if that makes sense. Because it was overwhelming for me for a while to deal with it. Your anxiety hits like a 12 at occasions. You won't be able to sleep. But think of it as a way of you sort of adjusting. Because now you'll wake up to like the weirdest noises. To Or, you know, my wife will snore and it'll sound like the child making noise and it wakes me up. So, like... There's there's all kinds of changes you and the child will learn as you as you go, but you get over it eventually. I think the hardest the hardest thing for me has been like the sleeping, my sleeping, not necessarily his. He's he's gotten out of where he'll sleep through the night. It took him I think a little under a year. Maybe maybe just around a year old is when he started sleeping for the night. He still has his nights where he wakes up, but he doesn't do it nearly as often. But man, my ass reflux and anxiety was reaching a, a, a record high, a Guinness World Record high, where sometimes he would sleep through the night, but I just wouldn't because I would just you have this predisposition to have this expectation of him to start crying, and then it screws with you. But anyways. What I'm saying is it's perfectly normal to feel that way. It's It, it won't kill you. It'll suck, yes, but it, it's worth it. And, and I remember it was really weird because, like, <laughs> you're just, like, so excited to put him in daycare. At least I was. You know, parents are just like, all right, finally I could, I could take a breath and not have to worry about him, you know, because he's going to go to his trusted daycare that you, you know, you that you can know you can trust because it's accredited or state ran or whatever. Whatever. If you can feel comfortable. There's some people that won't be able to, and I, I get that. But part of me was, like, relieved that I could take a moment and not have to worry about him every five seconds. And I was I was expecting, like, to be somewhat excited to drop him off, but, like, when I dropped him off that first time, it screws with you. You're just like, what a bummer. It, I was really sad. <laughs> It was, it was, it was kind of saddening. And then, of course, it's going to happen again when he goes to elementary school. I know it. I'm going to drop him off, and it's just going to be like, oh, you know, my boy's growing up. And we have to do the same thing when he gets out of fifth grade and, this, you know, goes to middle school and goes to junior high. And, and they grow up too fast. Kids grow up too fast, man, especially in this day and age. Because they want to. That's something I never understood. Kids these days get cell phones when they're in fourth grade. What's that about? I mean, who do they got to call? Oh, I got to call my predator. Got to make sure my predator can keep track of me. Which reminds me, you know. Parent advice. This is something I learned in college. Or from, like, yeah, it's something. It was probably during my college years. First, we will uh, sanctify this blade. I think it is time. Okay, you ready? And a splish. Oh, yeah. That was amazing. Look at this bitch. Oh, my God. Look how freaking amazing this is. This is sweet, dude. It's sweet. Cool. Anyway, so word of advice for um, parents. Do not, under any circumstances, uh, ever personalize your kid's backpack or clothing. Because predators will call them over and know them by name and can trick them into getting in their car. So, you know, don't 
don't don't do that. Okay, we put that in there. Put that in there. We also want to make sure to teach them to scream if someone they don't know attempts to get in contact with them. Don't approach. You know, stranger danger and all that. Luckily, Rowan is pretty, pretty. Uh, they kind of learn at a young age. I don't think it's that. I think they just naturally won't like strangers, because he doesn't. It'd be fun to have him listen to this when he gets older. So guess what, son? You had naturally born stranger danger. I'm proud of you. And I am proud of you. You know, if enough I hadn't said it lately in real life, totally proud of you. I'm glad, glad you did the thing you did. But I'm also not happy that you did the other thing. I'm sure you're going to do some stuff that's going to piss me off. It's fine. Because it's all worth it. This is a tricky one. Because I need this one to be... Okay. Alright. Alright. So, okay. So we're going to put this here. We're going to put this here. Move this down here. And then we... Would you... Would you... Would you... Would you... Would you please? Thank you. Um, so this one needs to go down here, and this one needs to be down here. This is like this. No, there's no timer on it. This would be very frustrating. Put that there, put that there, put that there, put that there. Put that there. Put that there. Okay. Okay. So that's where it needs to be. So this piece needs to be here. This one needs to be here. All right, all right, we're getting somewhere. I think this long piece does not need to be here. Or does it? I don't think so. I think this long piece can go away. Um, yeah. And this one needs to be over here. Oh, yay. Oh, yay, yay. Eh? Like that, and then put this one you work please thank you Yeesh. that one goes like that and this one goes like this and this one goes like that then i forgot to move this one back up so i'm smart like this like this like this like this like this like this and like this is that right Hmm. Do 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 do. Is that not? Oh, that's blood. That's not death. Or that's not health. Oh, I'm dumb. <laughs> okay. Whoops. Uh, where is hell? Hello? Oh, you shitting me? <laughs> do I not have the hell rune? All this work for nothing? Oh my god! I don't even have the hell rune. You sh shicing me. Are you shicing me right now? I don't think that's why I never made one, because I never had it. Oh my god. I screwed I screwed that one right in the poochie, didn't I? It's death, rune, blood, and soul, but I don't have I think I got a soul from one of them. Well, I done screwed up. I done screwed up, Abu. Yeah, I don't have the scroll. Man. Man. Do we have this? Yeah, I guess we do a death one. I'm tired of death, though. I don't think I have a death crystal either. Yeah, I do. That's a lie. I lied to you. What poop? What poopy poop? Maybe there's a chance somebody will come by and sell it to me or something. That's kind of a wishful thinking situation, I think. We do. I'm so. I'm, I'm kind of done with fire too, because I think. Oh wow! Immediately. Hey, you want to give me a hell rune? Search for ancient artifacts. Uh, okay, I can offer ninety points. Thank you. Level up. Press Y to go to the menu. And look at that! I can't level up anything. I can be a master luck. Ker. Lucker person. Well, that sucks. Give me the hell rune, I guess. We sit there and hope that maybe somebody will come here and trade me for one, but I doubt it. So we can do fire, death, blood, or nature, or soul, or some soul gems you find in the mine. Eh. Okay, 
Um, that is kind of annoying. I'm not gonna lie. It's kind of annoying, you know. It's a little annoying. It's kind of, kind of annoying. Man, I really wanted to do that. Oh, shoot, I wonder where you get it. I mean, I could do. I can't Google it. I don't have my phone on me, and I can't be bothered to use the computer. So, fire. No, <laughs> just joking. That was a joke for those of no one who's to everyone that's watching on YouTube. I guess. I want to get back into making videos. You know what? On YouTube, it's it's fun. It's just fun, easy fun. You can do a nature, like a nature, um, a nature thing. You can do death, I guess. Do some saintly death. Yeah. Let's just do death, I guess. Might as well. I want to do hell. I'm going to be real pissed if I get this done and like someone knocks it. Hey, I'll give you this hell scroll in exchange for the sword you just made. I'm like, uh -huh, and I'll cry in the inside. All right, so we got the fucking wrong one set up. Some stupid can't read. Again, I apologize for my language. It's just gonna happen. So then we have death, which is what I feel like. <laughs> okay, so we don't. We need this one up there. What do we not need? We don't need this one. So we can go ahead and the chunk of this one and back it down. We don't need this one either, so that helps a little bit. So this one can be over here. The dot needs to be on top. This one's like on top too. This needs to go all the way to the bottom anyway, so we'll do this. And then this one needs to go there. Dot needs to go to the top. I think I might have gotten really lucky here. This one like this and this one like that. There we go. Saintly Death Sword. Look at that. How beautiful. Let's go ahead and add a magic effect to it, shall we? I like the little, like, weird ghostly thing it does. Anyways, we're going to make this work. You just chuck it into the water. We have golden bracelets, so we're going to actually know. You're going to put a Glover in there first. I have no idea what the different magic effects are, but hey, who cares? Chuck this thing in there. Boom. Now it is enchanted and magic and elementized. So, let's see how much this bad boy's worth. Take your guesses. I'm going to say probably about 4,000. 3,400. Yeah. The cheapest sword I have now, actually. Hey, do you want, I'm going to buy a cheap sword. Do you have one? Nope, sorry. Sure, let's, let's play the dice game. Okay, uh, sure, that 10, nice. Who won? You won 10 coins. Alright, cool. That was fun. Alright. We do need, I don't know, you know, you're, you get those people that come by and ask for swords under 300, but like, can I be bothered to make such trivial weapons? Pish? Shaw, you know what I mean? Also, material weapon changing the material of the weapons never increases the value beyond a certain level, it seems like. I think this is one of these is a ghost sword. I think this is a ghost one. Isn't it? No. It just says element sword. It doesn't say what element it is. Saint Death Element Sword. Oh okay, so this is the beginning. Silver blood element sword. Endure death. Oh, this is the death element sword. Silver element. Oh, okay, yeah, it just changes it. I love the same weapon. Oh, it's so cool. I love it. I love this game. I could play it for decades and decades, or for at least a couple hours every once in a while. Probably more likely. How much you want to bet the next guy comes up here is going to be like, hey man, I want to grant you this hell scroll in exchange for. A good time, just uh, for one of your swords that are worth at least under or under five thousand or something. I don't know. And I'm like, oh sure, you can do that. <laughs> you have to exchange pens and mushrooms too, eh? I think that's the only way you get it. I don't know. 
Um, is that bookie book tell me? It's an artifact. Uh, cheap artifact that can, you can sell. We got a lot of information from this, huh? You can know if you're missing anything. I think that's the point of it. Some magic crystals. I had a hell of a thing in my hand and it didn't show up in the thing. Shame, shame. And this is just the item book. Is there any items that are new? The Phoenix egg. I think I found one. I used it for something. Griffin. Egg. No, I found a Griffin egg. That's what it is. Tungsten, copper, titan, iron, silver, gold. Yeah. Pin, which I have not found. Um, it's an ingredient you can find in the mine or exchange with a customer for 300, 500 coins. Weird. Claw. Holy water, shadow, clover horn, fang. Skill book. Yeah, the skeletal parts just fall. That's pretty neat. I'm glad he added that. Uh, sting, mushroom, uh, which you can only get from customers, which is just wonderful. Um, poison, flower, ice, slug, centipede, spider. Ugh, that's gross. Let me check one thing. Yeah, you have to exchange it with a customer. God dang it. Like, how many... Like, I've had... Like, I should have bought it when the one time it friggin' showed up, but I didn't. I'm searching for ancient artifacts. I'm ready to pay any of them. So, I'm going to the store. So, I guess I need to replace some of my artifacts. Huh? I'm going to start to sell out. It's so annoying. It showed up once. I remember. And I didn't buy it because I'm stupid. Or maybe I didn't have the money. Put this pagan cup up there. Dang old pagans. Also, that's those stairs look very dangerous. I think I already have a pagan cup. But guess what? I don't give a crap. I put a golden bracelet up there, but I ain't gonna do it. I'm gonna put another urn in there. Just gonna put another urn. There's like 40 of them down there, at least. Um, yeah, let's put one of these up there just to even it out. Crucifix and a pagan cup. Keep the variety going. But anyway. Oh, neat. I got to stand up. There's actually a golden cross you can get, too. But I have not I have not had one in a while. You can apparently find a pin down here. God, did you just see a tiny-ass pin in here somewhere? Because I don't think I will. All right, guys. Don't get excited, ones. I'm going to need one of you. Just gonna need one of yous. I can't wait to see like more stuff expanded on this game. I think I have to start a new game in order to go outside, I think, unless I'm missing something. Um, I'm gonna look in the item book and see what those other stones do. I'm really confused. So let's take a look. Um do 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 and do okay so this thing Refresh cauldron ingredients. It's good to have. Um, there's all the runes. The magic table that you can buy from the mithril mines. Oh, that's the rune. Death crystal. Thunder. You can, you can find it in the mine or exchange it. This is the same thing. So where I, I found one of these ones. Why the heck? Ugh, oh, well. Yeah, those other crystals aren't even in the book. Come on, guys. What the heck? What is... What, 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 what? Like... What? Okay, so town... There is no magic on the town. So magic woods, magic... What the hell does a wood gym do? Does anyone know? And, and it's cemetery gym. What's that do? Let's buy these. Let's see what the heck they're for. Tis a mystery that needs answering. Is there is there is there is questions? I have eighty two of fifteen skill points of a hundred and two thousand reputation. Hello, come to my store. Hundred and two thousand reputation. Unless there's like a building item I'm missing, which I'm pretty sure I'm not. 
I don't really know. But anyway, um, I guess that's probably enough of my random ramblings of, of what of messages to my child for one day. A. So I think we'll wait for the next customer. Maybe the next two. Well, I don't know. Depending on the next customer. We'll wait another five minutes. And we'll probably call it a solid night. Solid, solid forging night. Forging. It's great. I love this game. Seriously. Four cereal for Pop-Tarts. Uh, I just wanted to do this because... Well, all my other plans went down the toilet, so I was going to do something. It happens. It happens. I still have a, a pretty action-packed weekend, so I'm I'm not going to lie. I really want that stupid Hellrun now. I'm really hoping it doesn't show up while I'm streaming now. It does. Uh, oh, yeah, here we go. We have to prepare some Dneskis. Yeah, sure. Hey, you can screw this up if you want. You'll still get paid, but I'm going to try just for practice sake. You never know, it might come in handy. It might come in handy, yes. And yeah, you can't make it go faster either, so have fun with that. Small plate, there we go. I've never done Damascus before. I didn't realize that it was so involved. But, um, you know, what are you going to do? That was dangerous, I shouldn't have put that there, because if I got... Another small plate. We could have been in an awkward situation. So there's one more small plate and two large plates. So let's put this one here. This one here. And the other one at the end. Boink. Not good ass. Okay. Why? I don't know. Thank master. Thank master. Hey, no problem. Thanks for telling your 60 reputation friend. He's just a 60 reputation friend. So cool. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. Whoa. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm done. Bro. Okay, we got the crystals. What do they look like? Oh, cool. They're like they're like fat gems. Got like a weird effect to them too. Well, I don't know what they're used for, so I'm just gonna pop them up here for now. Cemetery and forest gems. I think they have something to do with just the something. Let me go back through the items and make sure I didn't miss anything. I imagine if it is something I need, it's going to be uh, in the furniture sectiones. Why you can rebuy a second? Oh, here we go. Teleporter. Okay. A volcanic anvil. That could be handy. A spear. I think that's just a decorative item. Um, I want that. I want that. Is there anything else? Let's take a look. I didn't, I didn't even think. Where was it? It was in the magic woods. I guess it makes sense that it would be there. Well, shoot, now we have to look and see what that is. We can't leave yet. We can't leave yet. There's the Pirates of the Caribbean flag, you know, if you want that in your mind. Uh, axe, there's an ice shield. There's Starry Night. It says Scary Night, but that is legit just Starry Night. I don't even, like, you think they would have changed it a little bit. Mirror Shield. Here's the dragon from, it's probably some game, The Dragon. Oh, yes, that, sorry, dragon flag. That's the dragon from uh, Aaron Door. Sure, I don't know. Right, we already went to that. What, what's in the interior here again? Ah, SPQR, yeah, you know. The Romans. The God. Ah, oh, there's the God. King. Spike King, screw it. Buy it. All right, we're going to have a teleporter here in three minutes. And a volcanic invul. I'm excited. Okay, let's go back and wait on customers. I mean, I didn't realize. I didn't realize I'm stupid. Might need to buy all the crystals, too. Okay, so let's get the teleporter going. We'll, we'll do some exploring, and then we'll call it.
I still have loads of energy. What are you talking about? Shush it. Shush. These have been really fun to do. I, I want to do these on a weekly basis if I can. But probably can't happen. But anyways, like I said, I still have an action pack weekend regardless because it is Mother's Day weekend. And, uh, you know, it, it, op it, op it works here? No, it's just broken again. Will a teleporter fall on my head? I want to find out today. Mm. Uh, I have to go see my mother-in-law on Sunday and I'm going to see my mom tomorrow. And then I have to repair my fence. Because we have kittens in our backyard and their neighbor has a big dog that likes to cross the border. And I'm afraid that he might eat one of the kittens and that would make me better sad. We have five kittens from a stray that decided to have kittens in our backyard. It's fine. Oh shoot, someone's at my door. Oh wait, never mind, it's in game. Ha! When it's quiet and you're wearing headphones, you hear that knock, you're like, who the, who the F is that? I didn't, I didn't expect any visitors. Hello, sir. I want to buy a decent sword below then from Aaron. Do you have one? No. I can take a custom order, though. Sure, let's gamble. Um, I, can I, I can't bet or anything. What? Bet, bet 10, bet score dice. Um, thinking, I, I, you lost. You won? A double up, a double up dice. Let's do this. Three. I don't know what's going on. Four. Dice. How does up? Does anyone know how this game works? Skull. You land on the skull. You know, I just fill this thing with crap and then that's it. Dice. Oh, we're in the third box now. Oh, I lose. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Thanks for gambling with me. Please come again. I don't have an Elendor sword. I do. What the hell is this? Oh, it's more than 5,000. It's a death element sword. I don't have a death saint sword. It isn't worth more. I want to make a, a hell lava sword. That's my, that's my goal. All right, and teleporter. The game is just friggin' losing its mind. We have to pick a spot to put our little. There we go. Okay, let's see how this works. Look at little volcanic animals. It's so cool looking. I want one in real life. Does that unlock another tier of it or not? I don't think so. Okay, just checking. Okay, where's our teleporter? Oh, here it is. How does it work? Uh, just walk into it and it saves your game, I guess. Oh! Oh, I'm in the cemetery. Whoa, okay. I'm flying. Why, what? what? What's going on? What? Can I still... Can I, um, can't mine or anything. I can just look around at it. I mean, cool. There's a skull. It's pretty cool that they, there's, this is where you buy your stuff from. You know? Some, that skull you bought, it's just some, some grandpa. Some dude, you know, who just stole a skull. Jerk move. Very interesting. Very interesting. It's not the biggest plot of land, but it's pretty cool, I guess. I don't get it. Um, why am I flying around? That's, uh, that's, the, that's the, the major questione. And how do I get back? That's a good question. It's kind of neat, though. I can't even exit. It's just stuck like this. So my guess is it doesn't work yet. And I am in dev mode. Look at this. Whoa. Very interesting. We're seeing behind the scenes action. I like what's happening with this game though. I like it. We can go and do some exploring. Of course, there's an inventory system. So 
if you if you want to take that skull back, you have to haul your butt all the way back over there. I just like how I can't go back through. The, the, that's very hypnotic. Whoa! <laughs> Come on, I can't go back. Oh, what if I just, what if I just float off into the abyss? Oh, Great game. 10 out of 10. There I am, officially stuck now in the abyss. Forever more trapped. Never to see the light of day again? Because literally nothing works. I can't even go to the main menu. It's just broken. That's neat. It's okay. It saved the game before it did it. Okay. Well, I think that's a good place to end it then. I, I would say. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Three bags full. One, one for the little man. There's, we'll, we'll put it back in the waiting room so I keep flipping it around. As uh, I'm guessing this game has officially cre-oaked, cre cre It is dead as a doornail. So we'll go ahead and shut that off. That was fun though, eh? That's pretty cool. They added a new zone. You can go outside and explore and stuff. That's neat. I'll have to go into more depth of that next time. If anybody wants to see it. We'll wait until it actually works, though. Because right now it doesn't really work very well. So, hey. That, that, would, that would cause a problem. Anyways, guys. I'd like to thank everybody for watching on YouTube. I'd like to thank everybody who's been here during the stream. Thanks for stopping by. It was it was a blast. Also, I, ne I didn't realize I never actually put a chat. Yeah, I did. No, I didn't. I didn't. Ignore that. It was a black screen for a minute. See if I put... I don't think I put the chat box in the actual stream again. Because I'm dumb. But hey, who cares? Well, thanks everybody for stopping by. For those of you who are watching on YouTube, and want to get to know us better, there's... Well, you already know me and Alan from previous Let's Plays. But we also do Retro Reset Pod, which is a podcast we do where we play games the old school way. Without the internet... Without walkthroughs, without looking at gamefacts.com, whatever, screw that. We do it all the old school way, where we go and we, we simulate the, the, the playground feel and ask our Discord people, be like, hey, how do you do this? Um, and wh wh what do you know about this game? What's your history? Do, well, tell me your secrets of Mario World. You have any idea how long it took me to find the secret area? Oof. More time than I'd like to admit. I know it was my first initial playthrough. It was very late later on, and I was like, "Oh my god!" And then when it changed colors after you beat it, I was like, "Oh my god!" It's like a, it's like a Super Mario World two. Damn. Anyway, <laughs> our social medias are in the doobly doo. Give us a um, give us a heads up. Join our Discord. Come and uh, I don't, I'm not too active on it, but I try to be a little bit more active. Uh, for those of you who are patiently awaiting the next episode of Retro Resets, we're going to be doing some other episodes before we do the main stuff, since that's just been kind of a hassle for us to hang out and play games for long durations of time because we're both so busy. What's up with that? I should just quit my job, you know? Just do it all the time. Screw it, screw it, screw it, screw living. Um, anyway, there's another episode that's going to be coming out in a couple of weeks. I want to say maybe by the beginning of not this coming week, but the next week, it's going to be a little different. We're going to be doing like a, like a news ish kind of thing. So keep an ear out for that. Uh, for those of you on discord, I also want to try to get the jams back up and going because I've been posting like my favorite genre of jams in the jam section i need to bring it back up man because it's underrated and it's great to hear people's like tastes of video game music and stuff like that it's video game music's amazing anyway that's enough out of me for tonight i'm just gonna keep ranting until for another hour so uh grab it just kidding i'm just kidding uh thanks everybody for stopping by 
Thanks for watching, and I will see you all 